I've done it. I've discovered the latest in aim assist technology. Oh, this match is starting quick. Uh, let me talk about this as fast as I can. It has opening shot and box breathing, which both boost range and accuracy. We got Accurized Round, speaking of which, increases range. Hammer Forge Rifling uh, also increases range. Range Masterwork, Targeting Adjuster for more aim assist. Yeah, this shit's uh, nasty. I can uh, two-tap people now. That's an update to these snipers. So even if I do miss, which is, you know, gonna be hard with this much aim assist. Shit. What did you pick up? You've lost the lead. Rocket. And now it's mine. Uh, believe me, this snipe is good. I just suck with controller. I'm playing controller, by the way. You're in first place. Okay, like that, I totally missed my shot and it gave it to me. One after another. That's hilarious. Wait for it. Come on, you can get overconfident. My turn to investigate? Beautiful. Okay, so this Duke I'm using, this hand cannon, it has both opening shot, kill clip, ricochet rounds, and a range masterwork. So, in other words, it's kind of like my snipe, in a sense, but it's good for cleanups. Don't do it. Guess I'm just gonna sit here for a sec. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if I body shot them for 100, I can clean up in the head. My uh, shotgun's a little better than yours. That guy keeps running into it, man. He needs to take out a primary and work some cover. Also, I saw that guy's shadow. This one. Holy shit! I was about to no-scope, but what the hell was that? That was like an instant detonate fusion, so he's got to be on those uh, gauntlets that nobody runs. And the grenade actually curved around the corner, because I was close enough. Leg shot? Okay, now if I shoot him in the face, he might have enough resilience to survive this combo. So let me pull the snipe back out. Let me fake this. Uh, I'm marked for vengeance, so I'm trying to just play footsies. Nope. Get out of grenade range. Charge this up. What am I afraid of here? I have a super. I tried to blink through that, but like obviously he has a mask, so he can see my every move. So even trying to be evasive right there was still more than a coin toss than I'd like it to be. I'm going to try to body shot clean up with this hand cannon. Once again, he wins because of mess. I could have popped my super. I should do that next time. Uh, I tried to just do whatever I could to die quickly because I need to get back to getting kills. Oh, he didn't drop any green. Guess I have to use my super to get some snipe back. Uh, my blink cooldown was not ready right there. I was ready to put a shot into him, blink, and then hit my super. Um, unfortunately, it just was not ready. Wait for it. Get that box breathing again. He's going to want the ammo. You played yourself. Alright, let's turn around, fight these guys. They should have a super right now, so they're gonna panic pop it as soon as they see it's me. Yeah, how about we just leave? I wanna outplay the hammer. 
A mark for vengeance, though. Apparently, you cannot outplay a hammer. <laughs> Forgive me for being ignorant there. But you, you gotta try those things out when you have the opportunity so you can figure out what works against what. I actually like Nova Warp as a, as a whole. Okay, box breathing. I tried. I tried so hard. It might have gave it to me too. I'm marked for vengeance though, so let's get out of here. Can he escape with Link? <laughs> Every super. Oh my goodness, Clash of the Titans. Uh, so I think that the Attuman of Fission, that's this middle tree of Voidwalker, is actually solid overall. The super now is reduced, and it's definitely a shadow of its former self. If I would say it's actually shit compared to other supers, but I actually think that that's where supers need to be. It's just its relative strength is garbage right now, but if every super was the strength of current Nova Warp, that'd be great. Call that a whim? I call it a massacre. Uh, so anyway, I hope I showed off this snipe. It's uh, definitely good. A shame I couldn't get the Duke cleanup. I had another game where I was demolishing people with this Duke. In fact, I'm gonna play that half right there over some music at the end of this one. Because it's too good not to use. I feel like I'd be wasting it. But yeah, Tomb of Fission, it is such a good neutral game. You got the best jump in Destiny. I know it screwed me over this game, but trust me, it's the best when you put it to work. You got the handheld Supernova, which is essentially having a shotgun at all times for the low cost of your grenade. It's melee knocks people back, explodes them, and you get health back. And then it's super, is it's super, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, I, I think it's very solid. But I'll end the video on that note. Thanks for watching, guys.